And ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the second map after a small upset, I would say, on the first map. Invisible Wings taking out Brutality on probably Brutality's favorite, uh, strongest map, Dust2, with the spectacular T side, I must say. Props to Sai for really playing a very dynamic calling style on the T side and completely catching Brutality's static city setup off guard. Antidote, man. Like, the guy is an absolute beast. And they ticked him down, Brutality. They're 1-0 up right now. They're the underdogs coming to this matchup. And I still, my, my heart's still a little broken. I'm still trying to mend it after Rix's valiant 1v5 effort in the end there. He almost had it. He almost had it. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going live here. It's going to be Mirage Brutality. Starting on the CD side, Invisible Wings on their T side. We do have uh, Brutality. Very standard by. Four guys with armor, the USPs. Rix, the only man. He's going to be a utility guy with the kit and the smoke. And uh, there are three men crashing in the short while Acer is holding... The B apartments, always lonesome. And uh, this is interesting. This is very interesting from uh, Brutality. Three guys in short. And this could actually work out for them because they have multiple two CTs running in. Andrew's going to find one. Venom, though, is going to reply back. Venom with two great shots here. Energy duking it up with A star over in B apartments. going to get a kill. This is a war here over in the B bomb site. Energy tapping away, but the backup is just very close by indeed. There's a man still duking it short and Energy doing massive work with the Glock. Is he going to get the bomb down? No, he's already in Venom. Just chiming with two quick kills. Superman alone now in a 1v2. Can he pull this off? Venom on a triple kill already. Superman's going to find another one on the Adi and Venom has got to get the quad kill here in order to clutch it for his team. He's already in a triple kill and Superman has got to get the 1v3. He's just clearing out the corners. He has no clue where Venom's playing and Venom just playing it very, very slow and very, very smart. Oh, and Superman looking around the wrong way but he knows where he is and he gets the clutch and Superman with a 1v3 and is nothing going Brutality's way. I think we have, might have found the Edward of, uh, of India. This guy is just a beast on pistol rounds. Glock, USP, doesn't matter. He's just blowing heads up. Completely dominant pistol round again by Superman. This guy has been really beasting. I really thought uh, with a triple kill from Venom, I really thought he had it. But uh, well, over here, Venom's got the early angle on him right now and he missed all his shots. Yeah, he had a couple of shots there and Superman punishing Venom for that. It's going to be, well, the force buy coming out here. Rix with a full eco, opting to go for the op with early the, buy. The aggress coming in from Butaida, the push up mid to get some early information. See, one thing I have, I'm against, is buying SMGs on the second round of the T, of the T side. You don't really need, economy is not that important to buff up. You, you'd rather just get those two rounds in the bag with full rifle buys. Oh, A-star with a 1D on the rules, however. That's a nice start from them. But, and I do agree with you. The yeah. fact is, considering that you know, now it's, it's kind of a default now for almost every team mm -hmm. to force it up on the second round when they lose a pistol round. Yeah. And SMGs are always a risk. So rather go for the rifle buys. And if you do have a couple of guys who do die that round, they can buy an SMG for the next round where you know no, they, they are exactly. a full eco. That should be the way on the T side. Especially on a CD side map like Mirage, you want to make sure you win those three rounds after taking the pistol. You know? And now they've basically given opportunity for Boodles to get back into this game uh, and, and basically wreck Invisible Wings economy because even Superman is very, very low at 9 HP. Look at this Sai, again on his solo lurk roll. Look at Fox. Oh, nice shot from Sai there. And Fox, that aggression not going to work out, but uh, Rules has been taken down with the 1D. Superman's taking a ton of damage as well, and Rix, though, is going to get a kill on Sai. Sai didn't have to go for that fight there. And now Antidote with the MP7, and it's going to be Adi with the 5.7, his favorite gun. He might be able to get another one here. Oh, picks up the gun the worst time possible. He definitely, definitely had Superman dead to rights here. An aggression from Antidote. So low is Rix, but he's going to win the duel Antidote. It's going to be leave it down to Venom here. This time, can he clutch it out? It is very much possible. He has a CZ. Ah, announces his presence there. And now... 15 bullets, Nate reigns in as well. It's going to be very hard for him to go for this. He's completely blinded as well. And they're just using the, the utility. The flashbang comes in. Smoke's going to dissipate right now. And the plane is very, very smart. The bomb is planted for short. And Superman with a beautiful shot. Venom goes flying. And uh, although Invisible Wings, at least three, three members there, will be able to buy pretty decently here. This shot was absolutely stunning from A-Star though. And now a full eco run coming out from Brutality. And this is when Wings should be investing in SMGs. The three guys who die should definitely be buying SMGs here, but let's see if Wings is going to go think, no, they don't, they don't do that actually. They actually go for the rifle buy here. And that, that's like, these are the small details that Indian, still need to, Indian team still need to pick up on. You know? And then look at this. Silly aggression though. Just a rush on A. How do we do that? Energy is going to get the kill though. But this is a full eco for Brutality. Just the deagle and a couple of Peter 50s in play here. They really, really shouldn't be losing so many weapons. Energy, very lucky to survive there. Asa is going to find Energy. And it's going to be down to Antidote. And, and Rules. Late flank as well. And Rix has got an AK. And he's going for the flank here. Taking his sweet time. A lot of time to work with 
for the T's and they're taking it slow here. The C4 is alone by his lonesome in the A bomb site. And I had to doubt. A little paranoid. And we should have the bomb getting planted here. This is because they really shouldn't be losing this. They should know Antidote is still lurking, lurking inside a palace, and this is huge from Risk. This is huge from Risk. He's gonna spray the man. Oh! Finally managed to make it connect, and rules. It's very hard for him. It goes for aggression, but Asa's gonna drop him, and Brutality win a round that they had no business winning, and that was Invisible Wings kind of for a change, playing very, very, uh, well. I mean, iffy, iffy I, I comes respect from. that size when you change the pace and that's a really nice quality to have as an Indian leader and take those risks but it's the wrong round to do it on you know you don't know see they basically ran into a stack on A and you know when the other team is eco one of the few things CT's teams do on eco they either aggress the center of the map or they stack A or B so don't go for a fast rush you know like spread out hold your default and work slowly especially when you know the other team has no utility whatsoever uh, to stop a late execute Mortality now with the with the rifle switch amount to salvage in the previous round and a couple of M4s in the mix as well. Invisible wings. It's a kind of a light bind. They have a couple of guys with money, so energy and rules with the Tech 9 armor. Uh, some utility as well, so they are they would definitely be looking for at least a bomb plant here. And A Star playing alone over in short. He knows he's gonna be facing some action real quickly. He's gonna get the first kill on the rules. I don't think he knows there's a man who's made his way into the ladder room. Reynard's gonna get a kill on Sai as well. It's very low in health and antidote. Oh, this could be big here. Catches out man. And he's gonna find another kill. And look at this from Antidote. He's just tapping with Tech Knight. Gets another kill. He's alone now. But they've done so much of damage. Venom's gonna catch Superman. And meantime, Antidote's got his hands on the AK. Unfortunately, he's the only member who is a member of the T side who didn't have armor. And that's gonna probably be a problem for him down the line. But the bomb is dropping the B bomb side. And it's Venom and Adi holding it down. They can't lose this. And to be honest, Andy Dornberg has a lot of uh, time to play with. If I, if I was in his shoes, I would have just gone into Connector and tried to wrap around to Kitchen. Uh, that'd be a much easier place to make it 2 one ones to, to win this clutch. Going the B-Halls way is much harder because the windows are there and you'll be possibly very exposed to a crossfire. And to doubt though, slowly clearing out the corners. He can use his smoke to his advantage, but smoke's gonna dissipate. They have a man marking uh, the kitchen. It's Adi's marking kitchen. And Venom over in bench. <sighs> Looks away. I don't. He has a chance here. Oh! He gets far out. Not able to rattle off a shot. Aim punch coming in as well. Venom is going to win that. But uh, Brutality losing quite a number of members there. Rix is going to be able to buy the AWP finally. He's been saving up for a while for that. And Invisible Wings. Pretty good buy. AK is on run. Just a good little energy. Lots of utilities to work with. Number of smokes, nades, and molotovs. Number of nades, in fact. You don't see that that often. And the one thing I would take away from the round, other than the fact that they got three kills with Tech Nines, is how easily good they got into the whorehouse. You know, they should exploit that. Get in there, hit window from that side. That should be what they should be thinking about going forward in this gun rounds, because that can really wreck brutality setup. They're playing quite passively on cat. And uh, this time, though, they start changing it up a little bit. Regression, Rix just misses the guy coming out from underpass. And now the T's, they do have mid control A star. It's out of ladder room, trying to spot a man out, but a smoke, but smoke, I'm sorry, he's going to block his uh, vision. And they have Buzat Sai here. Uh, Vaysar has an idea. And Sai opening it up. Oh, takes a fight and Vaysar just sprays him down. Sai, little, um, I don't know what really happened trigger there. Trigger happy. Little trigger happy, yeah. I, I don't know why he had to go for that. Meanwhile, the rest of the T's are going to be gearing up to go for this uh, A-side play with three members stacked. They're playing pretty aggressive in the side here. And uh, well, one man's rotating back. The Ricks I like with the how op. they're just trying to push in here without uh, any smokes or flashes and so not being very telegraphic with the execute. It, there's a possibility this might catch them off guard. And they're gonna find one. Oh, and Reynard stays alive though with a kill on the Superman. Reynard with a double kill. This huge work from him. And it's so low and healthy. And Rick's coming in now with a big green gun. Spots him. And oh, the flick shot. And Antidote is just gonna get completely decapitated. What was that? And it's gonna leave energy alone. That's going to be very hard indeed for him to clutch us out just with the 29, 28, 29, and there we go, Venom waltzes in, takes him down, and that's going to be Brutality winning, well, a test there. And that was, again, Fox getting a double kill, yeah, very crucial he was, kill. Uh, he was not in the best position as well, he was on the move, switching spots when he got the second kill, so that's really, really impressive on his end. But I need to point out one thing, this again falls back on the fact that Sai sometimes when he's not quite sure what to do, a year and a half relies on the 4-1. Puts all the pressure on him, he did the solo lurk himself and sent all his guys towards uh, 
towards the, the A bomb side, and he, he should probably uh, switch it up and, and work with two of these guys to take mid control. I feel like I want to do Here we go, there's a full on EFO bash coming in from the Bukati guys with those two guys in A. Rules just get the one kill, but that's all he should be able to get. They're he's, they're gonna chase him down though. He's got no hope. Already have A star marking the angle. Waiting for rules to peek out. Take some damage, however. Flashman comes in from rules. I gotta say one thing, like just watching uh not just how Sai is marshalling this team, but also just based on pure uh Skill-wise, like aim-wise, it's really a, a revelation for me because most of the times, the most most of these players, the core of the best so-called best players in India is are in and around the Mumbai region. Mm -hmm. Apart from a few guys in Bangalore, you know, Sai from Delhi, but the rest of them are very few number spread across. But these guys from from Kolkata, if I'm not mistaken, they're all four of them are from there. Sai is from Delhi, and I gotta hand it to these guys. They have played absolutely phenomenal Counter Strike this entire tournament, and they're one zero up against the favorites, brutality. And that's the, if you look at the setup for Brutality, it's obviously it's a heavy A setup. Every time they've hit A, they've been crushed because they have at least a minimum of three guys with Rick's on the quick rotate. Uh, the mid is what, to me, seems like the weak spot. I know Asa and Rick's are playing there, they're the beast. Oh. Like that. The fact that giving Rick so much room to work with exactly. is not a good idea at all. You don't let this guy roam around with the op. That's one thing I really love about Rick's compared to many other oppers in India, is how mobile he is with the, with the big green. Sai has no clue that Rix has made his way near into jungle. Yeah, I think I think Rix is gonna get three kills this round. Pretty straightforward. Actually, at this point, uh, Bings should just focus on holding exit angles. I think on the two side end, and just Rix with the third kill of the round. He's just floating everywhere and dominating uh, the T default. Exactly. This is just letting him roam around, not really pressurizing him. And uh, I know they're holding passively, but the thing here's the thing: they're not going for the, the, the trade hole either. Just one guy somewhere, one guy somewhere, and with Rix with a, with that big green, he can wreck you. And especially we don't have a trade going; it's not working out. Invisible wings should be five two for brutality. Third map is overpass. That's gonna be interesting if we do see it. Um, honestly, at this point, uh, I'm still a bit surprised by why there's two guys still fixated on metal. It's 28 seconds in the round, boys. You should be going to your bomb sites. <laughs> there's still two guys. There's just one guy in B. So late here. This. But he's in a good spot, though. I think he'll, he'll catch them by, by surprise. Or maybe not. A star is gonna get taken out. They're gonna get a bomb down here. 2v3. Doable. Maybe not. As Venom is gonna take down Antidote. It's all done energy. Venom spots out the man. And oh, what? I don't think he's onto the flames here. And he's just gonna get one kill. He's not gonna be checking the. Checking the kitchen there, but it's gonna be Venom instead, it's gonna take him down. I mean, see, they're, they're not gonna lose the round, but the fact is they're not really reading the clock. 28 seconds, there's no reason to have mid control at that point. You should be playing bomb sites, and then the bomb would not have been planted, and they would not have lost two guns. And they would have, most probably would have had to go for a more dire buy than they can right now. They can go for this buy here. Yeah. All oh, these shots are bricks, man. He's just, he's just wiping the floor with them. It's, it's too passive a default, uh, on middle especially, uh, on, on they need to aggress that shit, you know, rush underpass, like two guys top mid, flash, flash. Yeah, sure, he, he might get the one kill, but he take yeah. Rick's out of the equation, exactly. 4v4, you have the advantage. And it, it's a disconnect, he's the main rotator, it just, you just disconnect the A and B bomb side, and then you can play the numbers game at that point. Yep. And uh, Invisible Wings, 5-2 down. And Brutality playing a much more... Well, once again, it's not Brutality doing anything special right now. It's just uh, the fact that these wings are not pressurizing how they did on uh, on Dust 2. They're not mm -hmm. uh, quite able to figure out that, hey, this spot is kind of weak. They keep trying for this A bomb site. And uh, Brutality... It's a very static setup, but a little bit more variation. But that's also because of the map. Mirage just allow you to go for a little bit more varied holds. Even though it might be just two guys in B, they can have at least four or five setups. Very comfortable setups here. Venom playing... Aggressive, just holding the angle here. Invisible wings taking it very slow. This is a very typical playstyle of Sai I've seen in the past. Taking it very slow, almost Navi esque. And then, you know, even if they lose a couple of members, they go for the execute. In the end. I see the amount of smokes that are on, on Invisible wings right now. I would be going for a fake tactic, and that's what I think they're setting up for. There's two guys at A who are going to throw smokes really late, late, and fake it. Try to get some trades, cause a four man rotate towards A, and then hit B. Uh, that's what is seemingly. Seeming like right now. Venom has a Molotov. Oh, actually, they're going towards B first. Oh, they should have done a fake. It's a bad idea. But Venom's gonna get caught out there, but Asar is lurking inside the side. He's gonna get one. Might get a second kill as well. Continue to spray. Takes on Superman to the edge there. And now the rest of the 
T is taking a long time here. Yeah, because they're coming all the way from A. It's that, a very poor call. That was a very fast uh, push from the first two guys. And rules great flake there. Takes down A star. And Where the, is he planting? Though? Where is he planting? He's nice teammate to back him up. The Rix continues to top. Not able to get the kill. The bomb is going to get planted 2v2 now. Sai is going to find another kill. Leaving it all down to Adi here. But the so low rules in Sai. And Sai with the triple kill. And that's a man you don't want to wake up. They got lucky there. Honestly, Sai just went ham mode. Like, he just took matters into his own Indiv hand. Individual brilliance coming in to save them. Exactly. In the end. Honestly, the, what, we, what I thought they were setting up for, if they did that instead, it would have definitely worked. If they threw the smoke, sent one guy out lower A to get a trade, or a kill on A side, it would have definitely caused A star to rotate out of B, and it would have been a clean side for them. Because it's A star who got those two early kills after Venom went down, that kind of made the round topsy turvy for them. Luckily for them, Sai came around it and clutched it, but yeah. They, they need to play. Mirage is the kind of map where you can play fakes a lot. Oh, Sai opening things up, takes out Fox, but Rix with a reply, and this aggression from A star might actually work out. I don't think they'll be expecting this. Be careful though, no. Rules takes a ton of damage out of 6 points of health, but he's going to be able to win that duel. And they do have the man advantage here, but barely. Rules so low in health. And Superman just below the window. Should be careful here. I like the adjustment from the B guy to come up on Cat. Venom. He needs to hold this angle aggressively. He's now cleared out. He's gotten the information, hey, they're not that middle. That was a smart call. So now they know that. But why is he? He's just constantly pushing. He shouldn't be pushing, he should be like falling back and saying let's go stack A. But this could actually work out for him, because the thing is, Superman's not falling back. And Venom's pushed in very, very deep into mid. Meanwhile, Azadot is making his way into Palace here. Oh, Superman is running in. And Venom's gonna be able to catch him out, there we go. And, and on the bright side, now they know that Venom but is on the, the flank. Look at the rotation from Brutality, what they assume. Because, because Venom heard the footsteps at B, he thought they are all going B. So A is completely open. Now they come, they come in right now, however. Nice counter flash is coming in. But 3v3 with rules, very low in health. It's gonna be hard, but Adi don't get managed to catch out Adi, even though he's blinded. He spots a man over there as well. With the 2v2, Venom just spraying for all this, but not gonna be able to get the kill. Ricks with them all the top inside of the ninja spot. Switching over to the M4, realizing the AWP is not the best weapon to deal with this. But the T's, one of them has made a way into CD spawn. I don't think they're gonna be expecting this. This is a very good post spawn hold. Really, really solid post spawn hold. Not peeking at all. They have no clue. And energy is going to catch out Riggs from behind and Venom alone now. They thought it was somebody who was in the smoke. They tried to knife him. 1v3. The bomb's been taking away for a while now. And they're not showing themselves at all. This is such disciplined play from Invisible Wings. Great work from them. And they're going to make it 5-4. It's just one round shy of tying things up. And it's a great opportunity for them because they just... Because uh, Brutality are in eco right now. So a simple adjustment, right? Venom gets the information by aggressing Cat mid-round that, hey, they're not in middle anymore. They got the trades there, but they're not mid anymore. It's 40 seconds on the clock. The guy in A should have gone and played under balcony. Because assume this, right? They will not have Molotovs. The terrorists won't have Molotovs to clear out that under balcony. So you play aggressively under there. You can get the early two kills on the execute, and that's it. The round's yours. So they didn't use the information that Venom got properly. They used it incorrectly, actually. Aggression over in mid, and it'll go spray one man down. Second guy gonna take number Superman, so it should be easy pickings here. Just uh, Rix and Venom left life size gonna find a frag for himself as well. And Venom just with the CZ and head over to the A bomb set to back up his uh, teammate. But uh, this should be pretty impossible unless Rix can hit some ridiculous shots. And Venom, oh, a little unlucky there. Superman survives. Rix hurt out. Sai is gonna take him down, and a flawless round coming out from Invisible Wings, not losing a single man as it tie things up 5 5. And that's what they need. they need. They need that to build up that bank and start getting momentum on this side, at least economically speaking. And uh, the one thing that worked for Brutality was the mid-aggress. And I like the fact that Invisible Wings did adjust for it. They adjusted a bit slow, but they adjusted for it. They are rushing underpass and going aggressive mid and getting the early trades and the numbers in their favor. So what now Brutality needs to do is aggress other parts of the map, like push double A halls or, or push double A low. And exactly, that's exactly what they're doing. And they're going to get the opening kill on rules. I think I can read minds. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Get 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 down from get down from the stars, yeah. But uh, that was a really interesting change of change up by brutality. They're gonna get that man, one man advantage, but this has been a very oh, sparred out by Superman, not doing barely any damage. Yeah, his spear was completely around him. A nice man advantage here for uh, brutality, and once again, you know this uh. Very aggressive mid hole from Brutality. Can't be working. They're completely leaving A side wide open. What information do they have here? There's no one in the A bomb site. 
Yeah, I'm surprised by the call. And even Rix is rotating all the way to the C. They didn't spot. They didn't spot a C4 either. Yeah, it's uh, a heavy beast. It's like three towards B and one on the quick rotate. The interesting call. Now Rix has fallen all the way back to the uh, A side with the upper fist to spot on anyone. But I just don't understand that. And Sai is far, far away inside a palace. So if this, and they're gonna be rushing to the blender here. The three members, two guys in the side, one guy in short. It's gonna be very, very hard with 35 seconds remaining on the clock. They will have to commit here. And the flashes are going to be raining in. Astra falling back to the benches. He's got a team in as well. Rooks is going to find one. This is a complete slaughter here. <laughs> Not a single kill going there with that run. And I... Th that was very interesting. Uh, why did they rotate everyone over to B? What was the information they had? I'm not very sure about that. I mean, the information... Well, they pushed A halts and got that kill, right? And they just assumed that that was the only solo lurk at A. So, I mean, it's a, it's a risk, but uh, at least they played off that information well. They got the read right. I mean, they got the read right. There were three guys in B-Hall, so... That's what early aggression gets you in this map. And Mirage is the kind of map where you can do the double b holds push, the underpass push, the aggressive mid, the double a holds push, and at the right timings, in the right rounds, on the right gun rounds, it, it can give you a very dominant half. But uh, Invisible Wings racking up a number of rounds in a row. They're gonna be able to go for the buy here pretty comfortably. Sight with the AWP. I noticed one thing. Uh, Antidote seems to be kind of, I wouldn't say dedicated, but kind of like the opera who picks it up most in the CT side. side yeah. yeah. While Sai goes in for the T side. But here's a surprising thing, Antidote is a very mobile opera as well. He can definitely use it, wield it on the T side and uh, Venom. Don't Doing go for cheeky it. Peaks. He's gonna peek. He's gonna help him out. Yeah, very, very risky play from Venom there. But uh, for the T side, taking it very slow here. Haven't really seen any fast play so far from Sai's T side. Yeah, only except the round where they traded with Ricks early on. And yeah. Dodo. Other than that, they haven't. Actually, one thing I would like to see from them as well, they're basically a default is all, uh, extremity base. It's either B or A, B or A. I would like a late 40 second mid execute. That would completely catch Brutality with their pants down if you've looked at their setup. And this aggress by Venom is going to catch Sai with his pants down. Sai does have his teammates pretty close by. Oh, he should be careful here. Spots the barrel out. Goes for a shot. Venom's going to get taken down. And somehow Sai survives. Barely takes any damage either. And now Astar calling for some reinforcement. He has his teammates there. And oh, the spray down from Astar. He's going to get a double kill, but so does Sai. And he spots a man there, gets another one. Sai is finally going to burn alive to the Molotov, but he's done the work here. And it's going to be Antidote who's going to get the kill onto Rix, leaving it all down to the last man. Reynard spraying through the smoke. He's going to find Antidote. The 1v1. Rules versus Fox. And he's going to get the bomb down, Rules. There's one second left. That was so very close. I think Reynard really thought that he had the time on the side. And he just peeks out at Reynard Fox. This guy just plays such... Such a clutch player. That, Such that, a clutch that's player. That's on the smoke. You know, like he, he got the call from his teammate that that guy is low, so it's cat. He just says, fuck it, I'm gonna just go for that kill and make it a 1v1 as fast as I can. Very quick twitch thinking and very quick decision making to make that clutch happen. And uh, somehow, Butadi back in it. They're back in it. Some heroics coming out from Fox there. And especially that spray down uh, from Acer. From that was brilliant. Mid air double kill. And uh, the fact is, the fact. With invisible wings taking very slow, you gotta ask yourself, like, brutality, they seem to be slowly, you know, being able to read it right now, and, uh, a little bit... They're playing into brutality's strengths, right? They're playing into the grinder uh, of brutality's crossfires, which is very, very, it's a very easy map to have those strong crossfires in, right? Uh, Mirage in mm -hmm. particular. I want them to see either early mid or late mid executes. If they do that, I'm pretty sure brutality's gonna struggle. Venom. Well, Venom just... Oh, holy wow. Christ! Picks up a quick double kill. What was that? He's stepping up. And then Nate could just do a ton of damage to Superman if he does manage to toss it. Or he won't, but looks of it. That was... That was ballsy. That was very, very ballsy. And Rick's holding this particular angle is going to ensure that, you know, that's going to give them information. Hey, guys, we don't see anyone gearing up for a B play. So you guys can just stack up uh, mid or A. Venom going for more here. And he could just manage to catch him out. Oh, energy with a great shot. The Rix has to be careful. He's gonna find one. Peeks out again. Goes for another flick shot. And Rix, the bomb is down as well. The hold on is Superman. It should be almost impossible for him to clutch it. Comes out with a flashbang. He's waiting for the peek from Rix. Nate's gonna rain in. And he's gonna be able to salvage the C4, but 35 seconds on the clock. 4v1. And no one marking under. Pass? Okay. Uh, foxes, yeah. Foxes from top. And <laughs> little lucky there. Little unlucky, right? I'd say for Superman. But uh, brutality, 8 5. 
And uh, eco for for individual links now. That's a good. This is a great opportunity from for them to make it uh, ten five or at the very least nine six. These these shots from Venom, like Jesus. He's not usually the one known for for the crazy aim aim kills, but look at this. He's thirteen frags. He's at the top of the scoreboard alongside uh, Reynard. You don't really see that often. And Tech nines across the board. They're going for an A play. There's a couple of smokes. I think they're just going for a bomb plant tactic here. That works. Try to get the last round. And Rex once again just running around with a big green over mid, just taking, getting kills. Taking out the look early. Yeah. Well, I think he should have spotted out Superman right before he crossed, and they come charging in. Boss. It's a little while. Continue to spray. He gets a double kill. In fact, with energy, reply by real quickly here. It's all down to rules. Can't do anything. Won't be able to get the bomb down. And that's going to be 9 5 here for Retality. And uh, Invisible Minx will be able to go for a buy. I mean, it's still a decent half. Five rounds on the T side of Mirage is not a it's not a bad half by any means. It's enough to walk your city side and have a chance. The to curious thing game. about Mirage is all his Invisible Wings pick. I really feel he struggled on it against Insanity, mm -hmm. the Pakistani team. And not to take away into Insanity, but they weren't like that great. Let's say yeah. compared to Brutality, Brutality from what I saw, they played a number of scrims. Oh, Rex with a great shot at mid. And this guy is just not missing anything right now. And Superman's burning. He burned down the 47 HP because Rick's threw a motor right after. It works out. They go for the trade. They have map control. Uh, they know the B apartments is in control with Venom. He's falling back. He's though. falling back. Yep. That's a good call. I mean, honestly, like it's all right to go for the aggress, but if your uh, teammate has gotten the opening kill as a five v four, you don't want to. You want to keep it at five people. You know, you don't want to give the opportunity for the T's to even it out at all. And um, two ops still though on Superman inside. That's peculiar, considering it's the last round. I think they're still trying to get some early picks on uh, on the game. Still one minute to play with. And both offers going. Yeah, both offers are, are going up close range and, and can't. Oh, Venom though. 19 points of well, but he gets the kill. Then the Malta is going to slow that play. It's going to be Superman inside. It's going to be very, very hard. Bombs dropped as well inside of the apartments. And there's three guys. <laughs> yeah, no way. 10 5 should be the score for brutality. They have been absolutely fabulous in great plays. Oh, Rix misses a shot. You don't see that often. <laughs> you don't see that often. You don't see that often. But 10 5, and he picks up the, the slack there. 10 5 to brutality. And like I said, I, I really felt this map pick from Invisible Wings was kind of. Uh, Mistake because it looked very shaky, and the only reason they beat uh, Insanity was individual brilliance. Was Sai just going God mode mm -hmm. in the last five rounds? They were like 14 10 down, and then they brought it to 16 14. And the Brutal is gonna allow that. Rick stopped fragging with 19, Venom on 15, A Star Arena doing the work. Are the on six, but that's all right. The team's at least doing well here. And Antidote and Sai Antidote just been top fragging, man, throughout. How, do you want, how much do you want to bet that Superman will go big again on the best round, <laughs> considering how good he's been? If they go towards him, that is, obviously. Mm. He was surprising they're not, they're giving him a kit and, a, and an aid. They're not giving him armor. He's their best USB player, I would think. Sometimes we think something, but, you know, they have other plans. Man, Walter's going to come in, but Ali's going to jump out through the window anyways. The first man also into the site. He's going to take the phone and going to be able to get the kill there. And just going to bomb rush the B-bomb site and leaving rules alone is going to be such a... Such a dangerous thing, and they're gonna just aggress into kitchen. The three men and Sai a little bit too late there. He could have got the C4. Plunder in time. He has no clue there's a man over there as well. Acer is gonna find Sai. Venom is gonna get Superman. And last man left alive is gonna be energy in a 1v5. This should be almost impossible for the man. And he's getting fired there. He's gonna get pushed. Oh, oh yeah. and Hunt with a running shot there. And he's gonna get taken on Brutality, gonna win the pistol round, but Invisible Wings really should have won here. And I have an inkling that... Do, do you remember <clears throat> Video Game Fest? Mm -hmm. Brutality versus CMG? Comeback? Yeah. 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 That time Sai was in that team. That time Sai was and in that team, was, yeah. And he was calling for them in the overtime. Yeah, couldn't, yeah, yeah could, he was yeah, actually calling yeah. them overtime, yeah. <clears throat> but Map 2 is gonna be overpassing, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I haven't actually casted a single overpass game this entire tournament. Aggression coming out from Visible Wings, they're going to be going for full eco, might as well. Oh, it's Adi not. Oh, he almost got picked off there, 3 HP. The, the surprising thing is, right, the pistol round de deployed by Visible Wings is very static. They just played a pretty much a standard uh, default. And you know that B is a pretty popular bomb type, you know, uh, uh, on the pistol round. 
and even if you know, even if you stack it, it's still pretty hard to stop a Glock train uh, on the on the pistol round. True, right? true. So a lot of top teams, what they do is they just play heavy on cat in middle, and they play for a retake on B. Right, so play one guy kitchen, two guys on cat. Like play heavy on mid. If they do a mid tactic, they're good. If they do an A, it's a quick rotate. Mm-hmm. If they do a B, it's a retake. So that's usually a smart, like the pistol round that Butadi played, for example, three aggressive cat. That's a smart way to play pistol on CT. Uh, not, not what. Uh, yeah, just rules a lot. And and by the time rotation came in, you already had three T's inside of uh, exactly. kitchen. And uh, there's a man who's trying to. That's venom making some noise or B bomb side. It's going to draw the rotation and it's going to leave energy alone inside the A bomb side. Rather than your CT spawn as the rest of the members of Brutality are going to come charging out here. Taking the duels. Venom's going to find Sai. Oh, running and gunning A star. Oh, and I don't know. Oh, Venom! He's he has. Up. He's really woken up. He's taking a lot of damage. The rules should be able to get this kill. Yep, he will. But uh, he should be hunted down here. They're not going to allow him to save up a little. What he can do right now is, well, nothing. A star is just going to decimate his head. Triple kill by A-Star, a double kill by uh, Venom. It's going to be a pretty comfortable round, just one casualty that round. And for Invisible Wings, double eco. They're going, f- they're going for the, sh- the full shebang. They're just going to go for the full double op set of yeah. auto sniper or whatnot and just try and bring it back here. But 12-5 Brutality are looking very comfortable here on Invisible Wings map pick. I mean, the, and it's and even more comfortable than, than the surprise of win on of Invisible Wings on Dust2, right? So... If this is the case, Overpass is a map that I haven't actually seen much of either of these two teams, so I'm not quite sure what, what that will entail. Uh, but as of right now, we're looking at Brutality setting up for a full A execute pretty early on. Same thing that Invisible Wings did on the previous round. And nobody's throwing Molotovs to clear out the enemy of the Oh yeah, there was a Molotov there. Okay. No, basics are good. <laughs> you really have low expectations, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Sai tapping away is gonna. Oh, oh, the team kill comes in. Unfortunate. Raynaud's gonna get taken down. Rix with the team kill. Antidote finds Rix, and all of a sudden. The Venom. Venom. He's been, he's, he's been like really stepped up in the last few rounds. Well, they are on full eco. Sai has water. Adi, ensuring is unable to rattle off a single bullet. And 13 to 5 brutality and invisible wings. Now's. Now is uh, what we're going to see what they can do here. Do have the open antidote. Rules deciding whether to go for double op perhaps. Maybe drop it to Sai. No, it's going to go for the M4 buy. Let's see what they're going to try here. Here's the problem, right? When the 13-5 down and you have a buy, you don't. You feel very reluctant to go for the plays. For the aggress. For the aggress. Yeah, and you just go passive hoping, hey, we're going to shut it down, right? But that just could end you as well. So 13-5. It just... If you look at the setup, it's just, a, it's just you can draw a line across the CD setup. It's one, 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 yep. and it's just very little trade ability there. Very little trade ability, especially on A. Uh, it's weak sauce. The, the smoke's coming in. Are they going to go for a full A? Yes, they are. And Rix with the opening pick on Donenberg. Donenberg gets the leg shot, but that's a bit too late. This is that was a very crucial kill. He needed that kill, and the smokes are raining in the Maltos as well. A few counter flashes coming in from the CTs and Superman. He's making a nice play here. This is very smart of him. Oh, it takes, it takes a while though. Run away, run away. <laughs> and he got out of there. That's very smart from him. Bomb's still not down. Oh, the smoke's gonna dissipate. Superman's gonna get the kill. The timing was abysmal here. Energy. Oh, taken down Adi and Astar just going ham here. But Sai's there to reply back. And Zondu Ricks all alone now. Sai finds Adi as well. Rules and Sai. 1v2. Sai picks up the up. And Ricks is down to 18 points of health. I think they believe he's in, he's in alts. And the C4's not planted yet. So they're, they're pretty good. But after having seen... Whatever he did in the last round in Dust 2, yeah, I'm not gonna count this guy out. Rix is. Rules is doing a good job here, rotating back towards Sai, so there's always there's a tradeability if one of them gets picked, and that's the right way to play this. Instead of one being CT and one being. Uh, I think he's just gonna go for the save. Yeah, 20, yeah. 20 seconds remaining is like, yeah, screw it. Just hold on to the AWP. They have the money as well. And they have the rounds to work with. Yep. They don't need to like force an early, early win. So 13 6 is going to be scoreline. Invisible Wings somehow holding on on their first rifle round here. They did lose three members though. So the money is not going to be that great. They should be able to go for maybe I might might be seeing a couple of masses coming out just for the utility's sake. But yeah, utility is going to be very, very important indeed here. That's all down to Superman though, making that play. That play was beautiful. A lot of people, like, I'll, I'll tell you, if you flip that and you put um, A Star, Adi, or Venom. In Superman's shoes, after he gets the first kill, they push, they keep pushing, and just basically give a free frag away. 
So the fact that he got the kill, fell back, played the smoke, killed the C4 planter, you know, perfect playmaking when you're, when you're one person down. It's a book out of Fnatic. You know, Fnatic's more dangerous when they're one person down when they actually have five people alive. All right, that, that's Fnatic. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves <laughs> right now. It's going to be 13-6. And Brutality gearing up by the looks of it for uh, a B play. Still very early, though. Playing it very passively. They have one man that's Adi. That's Sai. Alone. Being epically aggressive. Oh, that, that was not necessary, Sai. And they know this. They're just going to come charging in. A-star. The entry fragger. The beast for this team. There's no rotate on B either. Rules has to go massive here. And now the rotates are happening. Oh, what's the man now? Chief uses spray, he's gonna find Ricks. But by this point, they're falling back. Now, look at the difference. There's a guy playing on the balcony, right? It's a late, it's gonna, it's gonna be a late execute wherever they're going. I guess they're going mid to connector. And they have a man in palace, it's Adi. But uh, why is he going to see this spawn? I was gonna say like, you know, I wanted to point out the difference. The Superman actually played on the balcony, but he decides to fall back instead. And now they're going to be playing a retake on A. Energy going to get caught out here. And oh, he's, he's going to be taken by Adi. Perfect flag. PK from Adi. Superman color looking towards connector. And Raynard a little bit too aggressive. Too aggressive. Anito's going to find him. 2v3 as a bomb is going to get planted. This could work out here. Anito's going to catch out Venom. Information conveyed by his team. Teammate rather. And rules with the Molotov. That's going to prevent Adi from peeking out much more. He's burning alive, Adi. And he's alone now in a 1v, 1v2. And this could be very hard for him because he has one of his teammates to mark him. And that's going to be a beautiful retake coming out from Rules and from Antidote. A 4v2. And they nail it. And honestly, I think the fault there is uh, quite massively on the shoes of the Brutals player. The postman said it was awful. Venom, like, exposing his gun and knowing that he's sitting in a spam spot. Uh, probably not the best part, and uh, I would actually say the first kill, Reynard. He that that was that, I think that was a question. I would not even blame Venom, but that can happen. But Fox getting overly aggressive and pushing the CT when there's no need to when you have four, you have five v two at that point. Oh, but A star with the opening one dig. Holy shit! <laughs> Just pause it. Not a family show. It's all right. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get another one though. There's a question, and that was brutal. Antidote gets taken down. Just decimated. And now Brutality gonna fall back. And the last time they start opened things up on the CD side here with the Deagle, they won the round. So, so Sai has to go big here. They got the opening kill. What Sai needs to do is aggress right now and check that mid is clear. Like Venom had done on the previous round on T side. But he's not doing that. He's playing passively. And now they're in, tro they're in trouble. Because Rules has to go big here again. Because there's no quick rotate towards B. Sai needs, to be start, start, Sai needs to check out mid and go back towards B. He's slowly creeping up towards Cat. Is A star going to And yeah, he does. And he takes out one. He's going massive here. Two, three. Oh my word. Sai just going absolutely hard. Picks up the quad kill. Is he going to get the ace? It's all under Ricks now. But now he has his backup in hand as well. Sai is like, hold on, guys. I have this. But Ricks with the triple kills. Oh, with the kill. And Sai with the ace. Ouch. Ricks does manage to get the one dig. And like I said, I mean, wow. I mean, it's a, I think Brutality should have won the map at this point. No one dropped down. Yeah. They just went one by one, and Sai just so hungry for more. That was, that was, a, that was an epic play. <clears throat> he died? That would have been the round. Yeah, I think Rix could have clutched it at that point. Yep. Now to grass. Goldenberg has to go big here. Team because Flash. He's burning alive on his own teammates' flames, and Rix is going to catch him out, and... Oh, he was just standing in his teammates when the, the flash is a little uncoordinated from his, from his teammates. They did manage to blind the tease, but he was completely blinded as well. Laps of communication. Masai, though, should be careful. He's going to find one. Gets a second kill as well. A star and Riggs, two heavy hitters taken down single handedly by Sai. But Venom comes around the corner, and Venom's been really stepping up. That's a nice trade. That's definitely a good trade. But Sai, though, getting those two kills so easily at middle. That's going to be worrisome because if he starts picking up the steam and we know what he's capable of when he's in full swing, he can like single-handedly just, just destroy brutality if he's in full swing. His aim can be, can be pretty, pretty, pretty hard to deal with. Probably the hardest aim to deal with in the Indian scene when he's on full form. Sai? Yeah. I, I'd also add Ricks because one thing about Ricks that really pisses me off is <laughs> how he hits some of the shots which he's not supposed to hit. Ah, oh, the ooh, unlucky there. Energy's going to catch him out. Going to leave it all down to Venom. 
1v3. And there's, there's no reason for, if Invisible Wings play the discipline where they have been throughout this uh, matchup, there's no reason for them to allow this to become 3 1v1s. I think one did get spotted though, going into that. Yeah, he's getting spotted back. He's 10 HP and Roots is waiting for him because the information is there and it's a clean round. 30 now. Now, the trick is, if you look at the economy, even though Invisible Wings are winning, they're all very, very close rounds. They're still losing a lot of guns. The trick now for Invisible Wings is to win a couple of flawless rounds. For example, again, they have an eco buy. They can't afford to get digged here, like the last round. They just have been flawless rounds so that they can build up the economy and have a chance at coming back into this game. They are coming back, but uh, look at Brutality. Very fast play coming out from these guys. And they're just leaving A pretty much wide open. It's like just... a retake. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's very, very scary. Superman's gonna get the first kill. No need to, no need to do for this. Just go use a utility. He's gonna find one. Energy finds a double kill. Last man left alive is gonna be a start. And Dog oh, with Energy reloads just in time. That's gonna be a pretty comfortable uh, round for Invisible Wings. They get to double figures here, 13 to 10. And that's a good round. They only lost one person there. That's the kind of rounds they need. They need one more of that so they can now. Then start getting the double ops on the board and solidified economy. Yeah. Even, even if they do lose to one round, it's not like brutality can run away with it. Exactly. So thirteen to ten, things are heating up. Bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Invisible Wings have won the first map on Dust Two, sixteen to thirteen on Brutality's map pick, and this is Invisible Wings' map pick. Mirage. The third map's going to be Overpass. Will we see it or not? We'll find out very soon here. Noodles has got a good read on the fact that Wings is basically completely giving up A and just playing a retake with one guy on CT spawn. Uh, that's a good read. Uh, let's see if they can actually genuinely exploit that though. Here comes a mate, a A star, right on Superman's face. 51 damage and then he instantly picks him. A star is gonna clear out, pretty much clear out of sight, the rotation taking its sweet time. It's the guy in connector, my guy making his way to jungle as well. Two from CD spawn to go for his retake. Counterflash is coming in and Brutality gonna fall back. They're just gonna make haste and front run all the way back. And I think they have the information here. Look at the aggress from middle, on middle. If he hears these people, because they're, they're elephant footing right now, I think energy will hear these people. Yeah, he's heard about rotations already in effect. They have a guy that's uh, rules already inside of B bombs. That size making his way there as well. Nice mode have to slow them down, allowing his teammates to rotate back. They still have time to go back to the A bomb side record, but energy being there in mid is going to be massive here. Rules should be careful here. Spots one continues to spray, do so much on damage, picks up a double kill, might get a third. No, we won't. Rena's going to take him down, but then now they have to deal with Sai. On the flank. I'm playing very passively here, and this flank is so big from energy. Sai and Antidote. He's running, they know he's flanking though at this point, because he ran. And Rix is gonna take on Sai, he's gonna win the duel. Valent effort from Ruiz. Energy's gonna find one, he's gonna find a second kill. Last man left alive is gonna be Rix, and he's gonna clutch it out. Whew, that got a little hairy. 14 to 10, Brutality, one round away from bringing it to map point, and two rounds away. From well, take it to map number three. And they the, are going to buy it. The They're buying it. They're forcing it. They have to buy it. I don't think they want to go for this overtime here. The the thing I want to point out is energy got the information right, and there might be a communication dynamic. Is is he the youngest player in the team? So he might not communicate uh, very aggressively. He's like guys, rotate, stack B. He might just said, hey, I think they're going B, and because of that, the guys just stayed kitchen. I think I have an inkling that aside. My uh, was most of these members of this team uh, from Resident Wings, if I'm not mistaken, are very very young. Mm -hmm. I think Sai actually might be their oh. age or might be even older than them. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I really haven't seen this team that much ever since he joined them. Don't have an idea about communication. Yeah, sometimes it's a style of communication, right? If I don't told the guys to commit to B, they would have held it. But there's a state kitchen. There's not a full commit on their end. Rick's gonna open things up. But Fox is running and gunning, takes on rules, and that's gonna be the B bomb site. Spit wide open and Sai with the glass cannon. That's a very tough gun to go for a retake, especially with no armor. Especially in the B bomb site here. Oh, Superman with a jumping shot with the swag seven. He's gonna get one, but Rix with an almost insta refrag. And now it's decision time here. Sai's gonna get one more. I think they feel like they can do this here. Oh, flash comes out. Rix's gonna find energy. It's all on now to Sai. No kit. Mons been taking away from right while right now. Rix has too good an angle here. Oh, what a shot from Sai, but no time remaining. Aza's gonna get the flank onto him. And it's gonna be 15 to 10. And we do have a pause coming in from, Invisible from Invisible Wings. wings. Yeah. Deciding what or oh, what can they do here. 15 to 10. Honestly, they should have switched up their setup 
a while back. They were playing the one two two, which is two mid, two B, one guy at A. And when Brutality figured it out a couple times where when they lurked into A that it's just Superman playing by City Spawn and they exploited that to get that key round win. At that point, Nizzo Wings should have been like, fuck it, let's go back to our, our previous setup, you know, a 3 1 1 setup or a 2 1 2, playing heavy heavy A, maybe double aggressing into halls. We've not seen any any of that stuff. We've not seen any aggression towards A uh, from the CTs at all. And that's what we, that's what's lacking, actually. And at this point, if they do it, Butati knows that uh, Nizzo Wings' economy is completely shattered, so they might be waiting for the aggress and uh, setting up the trap. And it's kind of unlucky as well, because Sai had the op the past two rounds, mm -hmm. and he was always in the wrong side, always in the wrong part of the map while mm -hmm. they. Came in now, Brutality. Still waiting for the uh, unpause to come in. And yeah, there we go. So the unpause has been called in by Invisible Wings. They have the AWP on Sai. And that's pretty much all they have. Deagle, a couple of 5.7s. No armor on energy at all. He sacrificed... He sacrificed his money for the uh, AWP and uh, Brutality. Mixing it up. They're going to be going for this A play. Energy playing a little aggressively here. He's the uh, he's taking one for the team. No armor, just a 5 7. Playing up close and personal. And size, I guess, all the way. He's gonna get the first. Gonna get another one. No, he won. Adi's gonna take him down. Nice refrag coming out there from Adi. But Ro oh, rules with the Deagle. He's gonna find Adi, leaving it down. Now to a 3v4. And Rich is so low in health as well. And Sai still has the op. He still has Ralo. Shot. Oh! What was that? Through the smoke. The fast scope. Rich is gonna fall. Rules finds Raynard. And A starts gonna get taken down. And what in the bloody hell was that? Absolutely phenomenal hold there. And Sai just going back mode. Jesus. Christ, it's not over yet. That was something, like, I mean, I get it, like, a shot through the smoke, get but a fast scope through the smoke, I think through a wall, as well, through a box as well, I'm not quite sure, it was like... I, I think it was just that near, behind the triple box, but yeah, it was very impressive as hell. 15-11, and now it's an eco round, and Sai, I think he, he might have heard him. But still, but I mean, still like, yeah, that was insane. <laughs> That's insane. And, and now, nah, it's a good read by Sai, yeah, about the B take. And here you go, he gets the opening kill, he knows they're going towards B. Nice smoke, fall back. Oh, so lucky here, but Rules saving his teammate there. Picks up a triple kill, and it's a bomb down as well. Rick's alone now. Oh, <laughs> body, body blocks a flashback, and he's gonna be kissing Rick's in the face. Rick's gonna get the kill, might be able to get the kill on his side as well. He's got no armor, however, side just dancing around, he's gonna fall. An antidote is there to salvage the AWP for us offside. So 15 to 12, Brutality gonna be able to buy up here. Uh, that the Brutality uh, is uh, faulty for having just 4-1 setups, right? It was working for them before. That small swing, that small adjustment from Invisible Wings to put two guys in A, and they won against a full execute. So you can tell that Butari's executes are not actually that good. It was the series setup of Invisible Wings just leaving too many holes for Butari to exploit mm -hmm. with their 4-1 executes. Now that it's more balanced across the board that they're actually playing a more standard setup with slight more power, slight more uh, control of the A bomb site. Brutality is kind of lost. They do have the uh, a pause being called out for brutality right now. Tactical pause. The money is not so great either. Uh, Venom three thousand three hundred might be able to buy a Galil perhaps. The rest of them, yeah, AKs. Then what? A smoke each. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they might go for tech nines. Mm. If I was there, I would go to Tech because they still have three rounds to work with, but they're going for full buys. This is a bit big risk. And smokes. Three that, smokes. That means it's an A. Four smokes, maybe? Venom should buy the fourth smoke here. He's not even buying a flash. No, hmm. nothing. It's a dry smoke executed today, bombsite. They can't even fake it, nothing. They need to go in here with it's the either, smokes. I mean, it's most likely... Uh, there's another smoke on yep. Venom. Four it's, smokes. It's most likely A, uh, but it could also be um, a mid-take. Uh, three guys going towards A with the C4 and one guy lurking mid, one guy lurking B. I think it's going to be a late A execute, that's what they're going for. They're going to wait for uh, Invisible Wings to use up some of the utility, like the early smokes, the early Molotovs, and then do a late execute. Because they know if they do an early one, they're going to run into too much uh, Molotovs and flashbangs. Yep, yeah. try to draw out the resources as much yeah. as they can and hope for the best here. Superman changing this up, but look at this, three guys playing A now and complete lack of mid control by Invisible Wings. This switch up is interesting. I'm wondering if the mid guy Butari can exploit that though, but he's playing too passively. There's no one in mid. Yeah. Absolute no one marking short, no one marking connector, no one marking from jungle, window, nothing. They're just Superman gambling is, it all. Superman needs to be careful though. A 
Peace round. Oh, oh, the, that spray transfer. Absolutely massive. And it's gonna be Superman finding the kill, though. Raynor is gonna reply back with Sai with the op. is gonna shut down Venom. Now they know where Sai is. It's down 22 points of health, however. And now the, here's the problem. They have a man who's made his way inside of jungle. And Adi's inside the B bomb site. Meanwhile, Rules might be able to catch out Adi here. Yep, Rules does catch out Adi. And Antidote, does he have an inkling that Rix is there? Rix should be careful. The, so close. the timing is just incredibly <laughs> messed up for both the teams. Reynard and Rix now. Rix taking a ton of damage. 1v2 now to rules. Sai is taken out by Reynard as well. That's a big play and he's leaving it down. The plant isn't for... Uh, it isn't for Rix, however. If Reynard, if rules does get... Uh, but but now Reynard. it is a plant for Rix. Rix has moved all the way back into halls. Ah, this is a smart play. The new rules were still in B because he did get a couple of Adi. Kala looking the wrong way. GG. Well played. 16 to 12. There you have it, guys. Rix with a 30 bomb. And uh, both the teams, they're losing their map picks. Very intriguing, I would say. And I love watching Overpass at the top European level because I think it's, the, it's one of the most interesting balanced maps with all the fancy stacks. The, it's, it the can fakes. Be both city side and T side at times. So, but I have not really seen either of these two teams have like a, a massively... Uh, big game on overpass. I've actually never seen overpass map so far. Oh, okay. It's a dead tournament like while I was casting these games But there you have it guys the scores are tied 1-1 Brutality winning on map number two Mirage which is invisible wings map pick invisible wings winning on dust 2 16 13 It's been very close games and we'll be right back with map number three Which is gonna be an overpass. My name is Blay alongside me is of course Equitas. Don't go anywhere It is this after all the ASL India Premiership Grand Finals And we're just gonna take a quick break and be back for map number three coming up very soon